It's time now to open our IPO archive. Sportsline USA debuted on the NASDAQ at $8 a share more than a month ago. The internet-based uh, sports media company uh, is uh, up about a point at 10 and an eighth today. Sportsline counts minority shareholder CBS as one of its biggest clients. Joining me now from our Miami bureau to talk about his company's stock performance and future plans, Michael Levy. He's Sportsline USA's chief executive and president. Welcome to Capital Ideas. Yes, hi, Jan. Uh, happy to be here. Thanks, and happy holidays to you. Let's uh, take a look at your company. Um, you're providing basically uh, web services for sports companies, is that right? Well, we, we're the, uh, we believe, the largest uh, supplier of sports information on the internet. We have everything from scores and stats and news to uh, fantasy games and contests you can play, superstar sites built around Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal and Tiger Woods. Uh, we're everything a sports fan could want online. And CBS is a minority shareholder and also one of your clients. You provide services for CBS? Uh, yes, CBS is our broadcast partner. Uh, it's a, a broad-based partnership in which they uh, promote us during all of their televised sports events like the, uh, the Winter Olympics and the NCAA basketball tournament as well as uh, working in a coordinated effort to uh, to sell advertising on our service I see that uh, your company is not making money at this point and uh, it's sometime in the future before you do plan to make any when is that in your view well we we don't have uh, uh, we don't broadcast an exact timetable but analysts who uh, follow our stock are are looking out uh, let's say two years out uh, before first profits. We're really building a, a major base in this, in this industry and uh, expect that by the year uh, 2000 when uh, hopefully 100 million plus sports fans are on the internet, it will all start paying off. How do you get revenues? I mean, you must have a big staff if you're providing all of this information. Uh, we have a staff of around uh, 200 that are composed of uh, news people, uh, engineers and programmers, radio personalities, of course, uh, advertising, salespeople, marketing, uh, administration, and so on. Uh, but our revenues are generated primarily from advertising, and some of our advertisers include some fairly big uh, consumer product names such as uh, Visa, Coke, Pepsi, Oldsmobile, uh, Shell Oil, Toyota, and others. Now, you actually did your public offering online. Um, why did you decide to do that? Well, actually, uh, we did the uh, public offering on a conventional uh, basis using uh, uh, several major investment banks, uh, such as Bank America, Roberts and Stevens, uh, uh, Nations Bank, Montgomery, and Cowan and Company. But a portion of uh, the deal was handled by E-Trade, uh, which indeed did it online, and we were the first company to participate in that. Did it work out all right? It's great. Everybody uh, got the shares that they wanted, and they were delivered, and all of that. Uh, yes, as far as I know. Um, and the future. You must have competition in this area. Uh, Heavy-duty competition. In fact, uh, Time Warner, uh, your parent company, uh, CNN SI is one of our competitors as well as ESPN. So, uh, so we're up against the heavy hitters, but uh, we're up to the task. You think, and you're hoping anyways. Um, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Uh, Ken, no, I'm sorry, uh, Michael Levy, who is the CEO of Sportsline. Thanks for joining us from Miami. Thank you, Jan. And coming up next, we'll have more deals to tell you about, plus what it takes to go public. That's uh, what we'll be hearing from the attorney behind the Sportsline USA IPO. That's after the break.